Ugh, where am I? You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Oh, these ropes look pretty weak. Guess who's waking up over here? Nice tweed suit. Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Get what over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? What the fuck is a fink? You've made your last delivery, kid. Hey, that's mine! Give that back! Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. Browning high power? From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. How did you conceal that in a jacket that tight? Truth is... Ooh, you better not, buddy! The game was rigged from the start. Nobody gets that meme. Ah! You know, I thought death was gonna be a lot more emptiness and less booming music and text, but whatever. Guess we best watch where we step. Hey Zach, this is Mike. I hope you get this message. I'm sending it with a courier. Hope it reaches you soon. Uh, I'm on my way to Vegas now. Figure we could probably have some fun adventures if you're up for it. I heard you've been taking odd jobs, including some courier work. I hope you're taking care of yourself. That, that work can be kind of dangerous. A lot of people have gotten killed. I'd hate to hear you got gunned down and then buried in a shallow grave. If I travel across the desert to meet you, and you're dead by the time I get there, I'm not going to be happy. Just stick to the main roads, don't wander off the beaten path, stay away from weirdos in smelly tweed suits, you know, common sense things. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Where's the stop button on this thing? How do I stop recording? To stop recording, I have to shake it? Ugh, motion controls are so gimmicky, I wish they wouldn't cram them in. <laughs> Ain't that party? And you're sure Doc Mitchell can patch this up? Yep. I'm sure it's nothing. You know, this isn't even the first time he's been shot in the head and left in a shallow grave. This is getting mighty embarrassing. People gonna start to talk. <laughs> He's starting to stink. I'm gonna bring him to the doc's house now. I thank you not to touch my plunder. Don't, don't make this weird. Uh, <coughs> Whoa, easy there, easy. Uh, You've been out cold a couple of days now. Uh, Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? His name is Zach, but he spells it with an H. <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. <laughs> I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. You didn't take the metal plate out, did you? Because that's... that's a load-bearing plate. How'd I do? Yeah, you're quite handsome. What? God! No! Change it back! I thought it was good. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Oh, God! Oh, my God! He wasn't shot in the legs. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that vigor tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Doc, can I play the piano? Cause I couldn't before! Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, looking good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you got back all your faculties. Yeah, okay, fine, I'll give it a... This is broken! <laughs> Nothing gets by you, huh? Could have used you when I lost my keys last month. 
Well, your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered and a bighorn are dropping. God, your bedside manner is terrible. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. What dogs? I don't have any dogs. Do I have dogs? Did I forget that I have dogs? Oh god, I forgot to feed my dogs. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Peanut butter! Dog. Peanut butter! Dead! House. Burglar eyes. Ruler of New Vegas! Night. Worms. In shining armor. Enemy. An enemy! Companion we haven't recruited yet! Light. Laser! Pew pew pew! Bright! Light bright! Discover the magic of colored lights! Mother. Mommy! <laughs> Fucker! <laughs> okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. <laughs> I strongly disagree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. No opinion. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I'm the ear candy. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I don't like change! I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Headstrong, he'll take you on. Headstrong, he'll take on anyone. Ugh. <laughs> Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. It's an upside down stair banister. It looks like two Native American women touching butts together. Okay. How about this one? What, did Sigmund Freud give that one to you? It looks like a fucking penis. Yeah, no, it looks like a <laughs> vagina. What the hell are you talking about? That is clearly a vagina. It's a penis. Last one. Two bears high-fiving. Two bears high-fiving. <laughs> All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. That looks like a music stand. How are you feeling today? Feel good? I feel like I got shot in the fucking head, Mike. <laughs> That's cause you did! I think it's time for us to go on an adventure! Oh boy. Are you finally done being quarantined? Uh, I guess so. I, it was a really bad case of pink eye. No, you caught the death glow from the asymptomatic carrier before you murdered him. Oh, that's what it was. I thought it was just real bad pink eye. Why would pink eye make purple sores grow on your tongue? I don't know. I thought it was a weird different type of pink eye that makes purple sores grow on your tongue. That's dumb, but I'm not a doctor. You're not contagious anymore, right? I don't think so. You've been in here for weeks. No, it's only been one week. No, it's been three weeks. No, it's been one week since you looked at me, cocked your head to the side and said I'm angry. <laughs> It smells like it's been three weeks without a shower. I... I got started playing Animal Crossing, and then Audi showed up in my town, and I got really invested in the stock market. And then the stock market crashed. Well, at least one of us got something done. What'd you do, Mr. I don't have Audi living in my town and she's awesome? Where do I start? Let me start from the beginning. I haven't seen you in a cone's age. You fixing for a companion? Today I am. Zack is, uh, out of commission, shall we say? Honest to God, you keep yourself as busy as a cat on a hot tin roof. Mind if I join you? I would be delighted. No use letting the tail wag the dog. You go on and lead the way. It's just you and me and Cass who has decided to join us. She heard Zack wouldn't be here and she decided to come over. So... Were dinosaurs a pre-war thing, or a pre-pre-war thing? Why do you ask? Because Dinky may look friendly, but judging by those teeth, I wouldn't invite him over for dinner. Neither would I. We're gonna go see Mr. House. Inside the Lucky 38? I'm not sure whether that's a blessing or a curse. That depends on what Mr. House is like. What do you know about him? I've heard what most people know. He's said to run New Vegas. He runs the robots. But, well, no one's really seen him. So if he wants to see you, well, that's a rare thing I wouldn't turn down. I'd ask him some hard questions if I were you. And while we're picking up friends, why don't you join us, Willow? Great. I like the company. As do I. The Lucky 38. The casino no one's been in for years. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. I'd hate to keep him waiting for a period of time longer than three years. Hello. 
And there he is. The man himself. Well, this meeting has been a long time in coming. Longer still since you took time to charge into the tops before <laughs> coming to see me. Yes. My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Wow. You're shocked. Absolutely shocked. Oop. Oh. Sorry. Uh, uh, no, I broke her. All right, ladies, you heard the man. We're going to go confront Benny and get back that platinum chip. Mr. House is counting on us, and he trusts us completely. Which is why he's sending a Securitron to tag along and make sure we get it done. So much trust! It's the asshole! He's here! Hello, asshole! Cool by me if you want to talk after all. But a confab like this, out in public, in my place of business? That don't play. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere's more private-like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Excellent! I knew you were a man of reason! I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. Alright, I'll see you there, I guess. Don't run off on me, though. Why would I do that, baby? I want to talk to you as much as you want to talk to me. And you dig this is just first base, right? You and me have a future together, and it's big league and open all night. All right, me and Benny are going all the way, which is a weird way to put it. Now that you and me's got some privacy, I gotta ask, how is it that you're still living? I'm not the person you shot in the head and left for dead. That was Zack, and he lived because he's very tenacious. Well, serves me right for using a 9mm. Which way is the wind gonna blow? All I want is the platinum chip. Baby, ease off the gas. The chip belongs in the hands of someone who can use it, as in me, not you. I'm willing to be diplomatic about this. After all, I don't hold a grudge against you for shooting my friend in the head. You forgive me? After what I done? Baby, are you trying to make me cry? I don't know what to say. Words don't begin. The least I can do is comp you the presidential for as long as you want it. That's very generous. This spirit of forgiveness you're showing me. It's enough to make a player rethink what it means to win. You're 18 carat, baby, all the way. Flattery will get you nowhere. Uh, wait! He, <laughs> he ran off with the chip! Glad you found it in your heart to forgive Benny. When the Lord forgives, it's not about saying what he did was okay. It's more about liberating yourself from all that hate. I don't hold a grudge against Benny, but the fact remains that I need that chip. Good grief. The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. <laughs> He's just wearing the hat over it! <laughs> this is totally inconspicuous. <laughs> You're the guy from Nipton who crucified all those powder gangers. Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy a second time. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. Incidentally, it will interest you to know that the man you seek has fled the Strip and is likely making haste for Kaisar's camp as we speak. Why does Caesar want to see me, though? Go to him, and you will understand. Okay. The Legion wants to see you? That's serious business. We need to be careful. Events have transpired in a less than optimal fashion. Benny has fled the strip and the platinum chip has not been recovered. Highly resourceful, Benny. He would have made a fine agent had he stayed loyal. It's fortunate you came along to replace him. Yeah, but I have no idea where he's gone. His destination is hardly a mystery. It's a near certainty that he's making his way for Caesar's camp. It's one of just two places on Earth that have the hardware necessary to read the platinum chip. I guess I'm off to Legion territory then. And while I'm there, you want me to kill Caesar? Absolutely not. Caesar is of great use to me. I don't want you harming a hair on that man's head. 
Assuming you could find one. What about Benny? Can I kill that guy? All I ask is that you recover the chip. What happens to Benny is up to you. All right, carte blanche. But why am I going to the fort in the first place? I want you to open a hatch in the basement of the derelict weather station atop Fortification Hill. Ooh, what's inside? Something very important. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise, so don't bother asking. So what do you think of Mr. House, Willow? I don't like him. How do we even know he's human? Willow wants to know if you're human. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. But if you're 200 years old, you must be a brain in a jar. No. While brains demonstrated some use as organic processors in the robots produced by General Atomics International, they never retained personality once removed from the human body. If you're not a brain in a jar, how have you stayed alive all this time? Let's just say it was very... costly. Well, that doesn't answer any of my questions. Time to head out to Legion territory. Let's get to it. Up ahead, you'll see Cottonwood Cove, where the Legion resided. I use the past tense because we have gotten rid of them by irradiating the entire area. So those of you who are not robots may want to take some rat away right now. Legion and their slaves. This place gives me the creeps. They have slave pens here. Cages. For people. Ugh. They're dead now. Not the slaves. They're, they're, they're gone. But the Legion are dead. Hey, somebody's got the right idea. The trip will take a few hours. Take your place on the boat. That's a raft. Oh, here we are. Legion territory. Everybody have fun getting their weapons taken away from them? This isn't off-putting or anything. Just walking around the campsite of my worst enemy. Hey there, lady. Keep a stiff upper lip. My feet are killing me. That's the spirit. I can't be the only one wondering if we're going to come out of this okay. We could end up dead. Or worse. That's a legitimate concern. Listen, I do not like being out here, and I don't trust Kaisar. I don't think we should go in there. This cannot be a good idea. We don't have a choice. Well, I don't have a choice. You can stay here. I hate to do that. I'm no coward. But I don't trust him. Not at all. If you want me with you, I'll come. It's a little late to be bringing up these concerns. You can wait for me outside. Okay, I'll do that. I would have come with you gladly if that's what you wanted. But honestly, it's a relief to stay out here. Yeah, I, I would not force this on anybody but myself. Here we go. Here's the man of the hour. You're the courier who caused so much trouble for my legion. Well, one and yet you dare come before me. All the bribes I sent to the Omertas ended up buying me nothing. The Great Khans aren't exactly clamoring to fight for my legion now. The garrison I established at Nelson has been wiped out. Years of meticulous scheming to place a mole at Camp McCarran. Wasted. So tell me this, because I really want to know. I am feared with good reason. But you, of all people... Dare to come here and stand before me, the mighty Kaisar. What were you thinking? I was thinking that I need that platinum chip. You do know why I wanted to meet you, right? You arrive on the strip and waltz into the Lucky 38 like someone left you a key under the doormat. You visit the tops and next thing you know the head of the chairman is fleeing the strip like a whimpering little pup. When you set your mind to something, you get results. I like that. The question is, are you ready to get started? Get started with what? The time is fast approaching when my legion will assault the Great Dam and invade the West. Before that happens, I want Mr. House knocked out of the game. A quick one-two punch, with you doing the punching. Down the hill, at the west edge of camp, is an old building. It was here when the fort was taken in 2277. Inside the building is a hatch. And inside that hatch are two steel doors that bear the sigil of the Lucky 38 Casino. I think the platinum chip opens those doors. Doors that can't be pried open or drilled open or blasted open. Because all that, I tried. What should I do once I'm inside that weather station? 
if it is a weather station, which I have no reason to believe it is. I want you to destroy whatever you find in there. And then I want you to come back here and tell me about it. Talk to Benny on your way out. He knows I'm going to let you decide how he dies. Maybe you want to remind him. Uh, okay. Go ahead and laugh, baby. I ain't blind to the humor in this situation. How'd you end up here after you fled the tops? Tried to sneak into the bunker, but that didn't work out. They found the chip. I wasn't going to tell them what it was used for, but let's just say they were persuasive. And now you're going to die here in Caesar's tent. Yeah, Baldy said you'd get to decide. So which way are you leaning? Like I said before, I have no personal grudge against you. How do you prefer to die? To die in my sleep at a ripe old age after a marathon session of Hey Hey with 36 star broads. You'll set that up? Look, I ain't a harbor for illusions. I ain't expecting to get out of this shindig alive. That's why I'm trying to hand you my scheme, baby. It's called having a legacy. Why not just let Mr. House run things? Mr. House hides Vegas under his skirt when the bombs fall a thousand years ago so it belongs to him? Forever? You buy that? Baby, every boss has a line to explain why he's special. Why everyone's got to do what he says. You're just figuring that out? Vegas got to swing, baby. Got to have pizzazz. Respect where due. But that old man is square to the core. If you don't think one person should be in charge of Vegas, why not let the NCR take it over? The only thing not bad about them is they ain't legion. The NCR is the biggest gang of thieves in the Mojave. Only difference is they pass laws to make their crimes legal before they commit them. They'd certainly be better than Caesar. He'd destroy the strip, wouldn't he? Nah, just spruce it up with a crucifixion here and there. Come closer so I can step on you. The legion is twisted, baby. Original losers worshipping the king of creeps like he's some kind of god. They're worse than roaches. My advice? Put on your stomping shoes. Well, sounds like we're both in a, a bad spot with not very many good options. But since I don't have any other choice, I'm going to go to that weather station. That may or may not be a weather station, I don't know. Kaisar has permitted your weapons to be returned to you while you serve him. Excellent, gimme gimme. Kaisar has put a lot of trust in you. Be worth it. Yeah, yeah. Nobody follow me. Hey, Mr. House, you got here before I did. I see you reached your destination safely. Shall we get to work? I need you to manually upload the data from the chip to the facility's primary computer. There's a terminal at the other end of this facility. There's a complication. While I can broadcast to this screen, I can't control any of the facility's systems. That means I can't deactivate its security bots, most of which appear to be active according to the status board I'm looking at. Okay, I will go upload that data, assuming I'm not murdered by robots. Good. I won't hold you up any longer. All right. Hold it right there. Why? Hey, 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 hey. What a dick move. I thought he was going to talk to me. Instead, he just started shooting. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> don't touch things, ladies. I don't know what you did, but now I'm on fire. Continued resistance is unlawful. I think that's the last one. These must be the Securitrons we're upgrading. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Mr. House now has a fully armed robot army. Your work here is done. Return to the Lucky 38 so we can discuss next steps. You have a very bright future ahead of you. Thanks to your actions today, so does the rest of mankind. Excellent. Zack's gonna be so surprised when he comes back, and I've become the right-hand man to the ruler of New Vegas. That'll be fun. I felt the ground shake a while ago. I'll take that as a sign you've got the job done. There are rewards for doing as I command. Today, your reward is vengeance. You get to decide how Benny dies. What if I wanted to set him free? You need to work on your bloodthirst. We won't speak again until Benny is dead. 
Walk away if you want, but if you do, he's going up on a cross. You're still making a choice. Oh. Uh, all right. So, baby, what did you find down there? Robot army. So, all this time, the old man had an entire army on layaway? Clever player. Just imagine the look on Baldi's face when those Securitrons come pouring out on Judgment Day. I'd pay to have that bronze. Make Vegas a town I would have been proud of, baby. Sadly, I have to kill you now. No hard feelings. I see. And how's that gonna happen? I'll, I'll just execute you. It'll be quick and painless. Keep it simple, eh? Around here, it's one of the better options. Do it, baby. Make it clean. I'm sorry I have to do this. Goodbye. Don't just stare in dumb admiration. Poor dead Benny. He's definitely dead. I'm sure you found Benny's demise pleasing. The destruction of an enemy? There are few things more satisfying. Let's press on, shall we? As I was telling you before, I want Mr. House out of the picture. You have an interest in his death, too. If he knows that you destroyed his gadgets beneath the fort, he will strike back. You know where to find him. How he dies, I leave up to you. I will do as you command. Mr. House won't even see it coming. Good. Don't know what kind of security he has inside the Lucky 38, but if you can find a way of catching him off guard, do so. Maybe I'll earn his trust by pretending to be his ally, and then stab him in the back when he's not looking. Can we leave soon? I'll be a lot happier when we get out of here. Do you want to talk about Caesar? Yeah, I want to know what you think about him. He seemed friendly enough. I don't have any intentions of working with him if that's what you're worried about. I'm happy to hear it, but I didn't think you would. So, what did you think of him? He is a bossy son of a bitch. I'd kill him if it wouldn't mean my own death. Oh, <gasps> that's a great idea. You'd be a hero. I'd be a corpse, because I'd be killed on my way out. But it would be nice to see him dead. Uh, uh, Mr. House, of course. Be great if Mr. House were dead. Let's get out of here. Oh, <laughs> hello. Good to see you guys, too. Also, before we head out... You're free, Benny! You're free! Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, baby. I'm sure he will repay our kindness in the future. All right, I'm back. The foundation is laid. My Securitrons on the Strip are upgraded, and those at the fort ready for action. Now it's just a matter of adjusting the attitudes of some lesser groups while we wait for Caesar's Legion to attack Hoover Dam. Wait, you're not gonna attack the NCR, are you? Why would I want to go to war against the NCR? They're my best customers. If their leaders weren't scheming to steal Vegas out from under me, I'd have no troubles with the NCR at all. What groups are you talking about? Outside New Vegas, at what was once called Nellis Air Force Base, resides an unusual tribe known as the Boomers. They have several howitzers they fire at anyone who dares approach the base. Artillery of this sort has a range of several miles. If it's going to fire on Hoover Dam, I want it firing at my targets. I have already secured the Boomer's allegiance. Well done. The Boomer's firepower may prove an advantage when the battle for Hoover Dam comes around. Your next assignment would have been to investigate the Omertus, but you managed to foil their scheme before I could put you to the task. Yep, all me, baby. I should compensate you as though it were an official assignment, however. Wouldn't want to disincentivize your proactivity. I do like money. Your next assignment is to locate and destroy remnants of the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel. The NCR nearly did the job at Helios 1 a few years ago, but there seem to have been survivors, unfortunately. Given the Brotherhood's fanatical views on technology, they can be counted on to oppose my regime. Consider them as good as dead, because we've already blown up their bunker. You have? Single-handedly destroying a Brotherhood of Steel bunker is quite an accomplishment. Platoons of NCR troops have died trying to do the same. This welcome news comes just in time, as events in the wider world are coming to a head. 
Aaron Kimball, the president of the new California Republic, is going to visit Hoover Dam to boost morale. Apparently, he hasn't considered the effect on the troops' morale of seeing their beloved leader get his brains blown out by a Legion sniper. I need you to make sure that no harm comes to President Kimball. It's fortunate that you've maintained good relations with the NCR. The precise time of Kimball's visit is a closely guarded secret, but it will happen soon. Well, if there's one thing we're known for, it's being punctual and not procrastinating important missions. That dam holds a lot of water. More than I've ever seen in one place at one time. It is actually quite the marvel of modern engineering. Well, well, what do we have here? Well, look who it is. Fantastic's little helper, all grown up, following in his master's footsteps. I killed him. <laughs> yes, you did. How is he back? You're one to talk. Mr. Fantastic, what are you doing here? What's it look like, man? I'm fucking king of the NCR. Caesar's Legion has Caesar. The NCR's got Fantastic. It's Fantastic's NCR now. This whole war's about power, man. Caesar wants it. NCR wants it. Fantastic's got it. After I fixed Helios 1 and basically <laughs> saved the NCR from the dumb shits <laughs> who run it, I got myself a little promotion. Now I run the whole shebang. <laughs> they put you, you, in charge of the Hoover Dam. They sure as shit did. I mean, there's still formalities, like I have to run everything by Lawson before I do it. But do I ever do that? Is his name fantastic? So you do what Lawson tells you to do. <laughs> no, man. That's just what I'm supposed to do. But when he tells me to push the middle button to divert the intake, and the right button feels nicer when I touch it, I know where my loyalty is. Man, I just don't know how an idiot like that gets put in charge of anything. He's definitely a buffoon. What are your responsibilities now? Man, what aren't my responsibilities? Dam overflow, dam underflow, dam leakage. Sometimes the dam gets too big and I have to shrink it down. <laughs> People come to me to resolve their disputes with my wisdom. Like, hey, Fantastic, who gets to keep this doodad we found? Or, yo, Fantastic, when will you accept that you're the father of my child? <laughs> it's crazy. Sounds like you've become the goddamn damn god. Have fun with that. Adios, amigo. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello there, youngster. Welcome to my baby. Y your baby? The power station, the dam, they're my babies. Well, don't tell my grandchildren I said that. <laughs> Anything in here that I haven't rebuilt, I've fixed. I've been here since well before the first battle. I've ground my knuckles on so much cement in here, it is nearly as much me as it is cement. And now you have to deal with Mr. Fantastic. I'm sorry to have placed this burden in your lap. Well, he mostly stays out of the way, which is a good thing. He'd probably end up doing some real damage if he tried to make himself useful. Right now, we mostly let him operate the switchboard for the intercom. Flipping switches seems to keep him pretty happy. <laughs> Flipping switches is fun. Well, to each their own, I guess. <laughs> All right, see you around. Bye. You keep doing what you're good at, Fantastic. Good day, soldier. President Kimball is going to arrive pretty soon to give his speech and meet that wounded soldier. That's why I'm here. I'm going to go talk to Colonel Moore and make sure everything goes smoothly. Good, you made it. I've been receiving reports about the savior of the NCR for a while now and wanted to meet you myself. You've proven yourself especially capable, and right now I can use all the capable people I can get. Make no mistake, there's a battle coming, and I intend to make sure there are no loose ends when the time comes. One such loose end is a gang known as the Great Khans. Have you heard of them? Not only have I heard of them, but I've driven them off into lands unknown. No, they're still in Red Rock Canyon! Good riddance. You've had reports for years that they're the ones who supply the fiends with chems, but no one's done anything about it. In any event, no one will miss them. And I've got another mission for you. We've had some disturbing reports recently concerning the Omertas, one of the three families that run the Strip. I need you to uncover what they're up to and stop it if it threatens the NCR. I'm not exactly sure what they were planning, but it doesn't matter. They're dead now. Excellent. You'd think living in the lap of luxury and power would be enough for some people, but no. But we have other problems. While investigating the Amertas, what little I could on my end, I came across something much more sinister. 
evidence suggests that Mr. House is planning to make some kind of move when the battle breaks out, and I'm guessing he won't be coming to our rescue. While we don't know what his exact plans are, my orders are to take no risks. I'm sending you to take Mr. House out of the equation. Wait, won't killing House have huge repercussions for Vegas? Perhaps, but that's not my problem. Vegas is a nice place for the men to go on vacation, but it'd be an acceptable loss next to the dam. Do you even have any evidence that House will make a move? I I've seen nothing that would indicate that. We've had reported sightings of Mr. House's Securitron spying on both NCR and Legion forces. Also, given a recent analysis of the sightings, we now estimate that Mr. House has at least four times as many Securitrons as previously assumed. He wouldn't show his hand like that if he weren't prepared to move. And neither the NCR or Legion can spare the troops to investigate. Which is why I'm sending you. I'm sure he doesn't have that many robot soldiers. What could he possibly be up to, anyway? To name a few things off the top of my head, expand his borders, get the NCR and Legion to wipe each other out, and seize Hoover Dam. O okay if House needs to die, then I will kill Mr. House. Good. Then you have your orders. See that Mr. House does not present a problem. Dismissed. You got it. Uh, speaking of killing Mr. House, look, it's Mr. House! Die, Mr. House! Nobody likes you! Look at me carrying out your orders! Damn it, will you die already? You're welcome! Ain't nothing between us and the Lord than the clothes on our backs and the guns in our sacks. Then again, I ain't no hurry to meet him. So, let's just keep our clothes on and our guns loaded. What the hell are you even talking about? What did... Did you put a plug in his cock tube to make him explode? Let's not get into the sloppy specifics of what I just did. He's dead. Let's move on. Report. Is Mr. House still a threat? Looks pretty dead to me! Then that's one more nuisance we won't have to worry about. Good work. Our efforts haven't gone unnoticed, either. The Brass have been throwing around the idea of having the President visit the dam for a while now, to rally the troops and boost morale and such. But while it's being planned, I have one last mission for you. Several years ago, we managed to wrest the Helios One solar power station from the Brotherhood of Steel chapter local to this area. Yes. It was a crushing victory, but no one's heard a peep from the Brotherhood since. Most people assume the Brotherhood is scattered and not a threat. Recently, we've had scouts go missing in an area west of Helios, and I'm concerned that the Brotherhood is involved. How recent? I want you to find them, and once you do, finish them for good. Did you know that the Brotherhood is all dead? Oh, that's a relief. A Brotherhood attack while we're busy with the Legion would be catastrophic. The situation being what it is, we can't afford to lose even a single man unnecessarily. But we've got more important matters to attend to. The President is due to arrive soon, and we're sure the Legion won't waste such an opportunity. I want you to assist the security detail we've prepared for the President. His safety is critical to maintaining the men's fighting spirit. Go up to the visitor's center and speak to Ranger Grant. He's in charge of security during the President's visit. Dismissed. All right, that whole thing. I don't know if you noticed, but when I put on my boots, I always start with the left one. Don't have a good reason why. It just feels right. <laughs> <laughs> just, no? Yeah. Sorry. Gotta put your best foot forward, you know? Yeah. Hello. I've heard of you. I'm glad you're here to help us out. This is a delicate matter, and we need all the help we can get from people we can trust. We've got a lot to do to prepare for the President's visit, and not much time. I, I know Colonel Moore is worried about the President, but I wouldn't be too concerned. I have a feeling he's gonna be A-OK. -okay. We have a bunch of soldiers waiting to see the President. I'm looking forward to seeing the President. It, it'll be great to see the man. Have you finished your security sweep? I haven't done any security sweeps, but I'm not worried. When's the President gonna be here? Looks like that's his vertebrate coming right now. It's showtime. Let's not mess this up. All right, I'm gonna get a front row seat. Oh, here he comes. It's kind of like he's flying in on a majestic eagle, you know? <coughs> Is he coming? Taking a sweet ass time. <sighs> Is there a reason he's late to the ceremony? No one can go upstairs without authorization. 
I need to check on the president. Only NCR engineers or people with explicit permission from Ranger Grant are allowed roof access. Yo, Ranger Grant, I need roof access to find the president. Come back in a minute. I'm busy with security matters. Okay, he doesn't want to talk to me. Who did you say was authorized again? Only NCR engineers or people with explicit permission from Ranger Grant are allowed roof access. Engineers, huh? All right, I'll be right back. Hey, engineer, can I borrow your clothing? Hey, you haven't seen my friend around here, have you? His name is Ben, and he's an engineer. We were supposed to meet up so we can watch the president's speech together. But he hasn't shown up yet. Sorry, I haven't seen him. I guess I'll just keep waiting. Sorry to bother you. Yes, yes, I'm very busy trying to find an outfit like that. Supply cabinet? Pool of blood. And a bloody wrench as well. I'm sure that's not relevant. A jumpsuit was in the locker. Also, an engineer's corpse, but that's not really important, I don't think. Excuse me, pardon me, engineer coming through. It's all on the up and up with you, right? You're cleared to go on through. Excellent. Uh, here you are, Mr. President. Oh. President Kimball is looking at Colonel Moore, and they've engaged in a staring contest. Oh. And away you go! There we go, fixed it. Pardon me, excuse me, back to my spot. <sighs> mm-hmm. Come on, are you kidding me? Oh, there he is, there, oh, seriously? Seriously. W what is wrong with, okay. Here we go, here comes the president. Man that we love following the colonel who is taking up her post right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like, I'd like to thank, thank you for coming, coming out here today for this very special, special occasion. occasion. It is, it my, is my pleasure, pleasure to, to introduce to you, you the, the president, president of the, of the new, new California, California Republic, Republic, Aaron Kimball. Thank you, my fellow Californians, who have come, come so far to answer the, the call to service put forth, forth by the Republic. Republic. It is for you that I have come, come here, and, and it is because, because of you that I am able, able to do so. so. Men and women step forward to say, I will carry the weight. weight. Yeah, weight carrying! Sometimes, Sometimes we, we take, take those privileges, privileges for granted that our forebears fought so hard to achieve. Two-headed forebearers. We must we always remember that wherever, wherever California stand, we carry, we carry our principles with us. us. Not, Not far, far from this spot. spot. A monument stats, Oh, Jesus! Um. Oh, he was shot by a sniper. Well, I, I thought this might happen. Luckily, we have a contingency plan. Thank you, my fellow Californians, who have come so far to answer the call to service put forth by the Republic. It is for you that I have come here. And that's my cue! And I'm prepared what are you to doing up here? There's a dead ranger downstairs. Oh, shit. Really? We should go take a look. Maybe we should radio it in first. Uh, I think I should check it out first before radioing it in. Mm, no, let's radio it in. Fuck it. You're more trouble than you're worth. And it's because Am I now? We carry the weight. And though we, we left behind, behind many, many of our brothers and sisters on that battlefield, it, it did, did not, not break us. Yeah, we carried the weight! Ten, Ten years ago, Chief of Police met with representatives of the Desert, Desert Rangers, Rangers to discuss terms of what, what would become the Ranger Unification, unification Treaty. Some additional security be here. That'd be useful. Uh, oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, my president! Okay, so there's more than one legionary here. There's the sniper we gotta take care of, and also the terrorist that's in the crowd. So once you take care of both of them, we'll be good. Who have come, come so far to answer the call to service put forth by the Republic. It is for you that I have come here. Alright. What are you doing up here? We enjoy our privileges because you... Uh... As a prospect. Oh crap. Uh, which engineer was, was it again? You. It was you, right? I really and and I'm trying to listen war. to the speech. Uh, uh you're not a terrorist right, though. Leave me alone. Hey, I'm trying to pay attention. Yeah. Uh, how about you? Shh, I don't know what's going on. Alone. 
Uh, yeah, but there's a terrorist somewhere. Are you? Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Which one of you is it? No! No! They're moving up to provide extra security. This is where everything goes wrong. You, you, Mr. President, you've got to go. You've got to get out of the way. No, there's a, there's about to be an engineer. No, here he is. No, Mr. President, get down. No, no, no. Oh, damn it. It is for you that I have come here. All right. Hello. Dick. Yo, hey. Hey, I heard about you. What can I do for you, friend? That's a nice bomb-sniffing dog you got there. Thanks. We haven't been paired together long, but he's a smart dog. Mind if I borrow him to try and sniff out some bombs? Take good care of him and bring him back when you're done. You got it. All right, boy. Find the bomb. This guy. Is it this guy? No? Uh, how about this guy? Smell him? Nothing? Boy, how about this one? Yeah? Yeah? Is there a problem here? Uh, my dog here doesn't like you. Well, that's too bad. I'm just here to enjoy the show, so if you don't mind. He thinks you smells like bomb. I don't have time for this. Death to the Legion's enemies! Oh, okay, that's what we're gonna do, huh? Go ahead and continue giving your speech. Wait, no, no, we killed the guy. No, come on, you can go ahead. No, oh, come on, seriously? We didn't even get to hear the speech. At least the president lives, I guess. Godspeed, you magnificent bastard. One of these days, I'll get to hear you talk. Oh, no, are you kidding me? Seriously, a sniper, an assassin, and a time bomb? What the fuck just happened? No, that's my sentiment exactly. What the fuck? I'm too young to die. I'm too old for this shit. Aaron Kimball. Thank you. What's up, bitch? Save your life, you owe me a coke. Get the fuck off my dam! Hello, I am engineer. You're cleared to go on through. Thank you. Disarming the bomb, hooray! The bomb is gone. Finally gonna enjoy this damn speech. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. What the hell are you waiting for? You think I want to get shot? Let's go. That's a nice suit President Kimball had. It was such an honor to be here today. I'm so lucky. I'm actually surprised the speech was less than 10 minutes. Those politicians love to hear themselves talk. Oh, there it goes. If it explodes again, I'm gonna be pissed. Yay. No kaboom. Where's Colonel Moore? Oh, an engineer in Colonel Moore's office. I don't trust engineers. Nothing personal, kid. Oh, that was an actual civilian. Time to hide the body. <clears throat> yeah, good as new. Oh, Colonel Moore. Yep. Uh, everything is going smoothly over here. Don't, 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 don't look behind. Don't, don't, don't look behind the couch. Furniture is for sitting on, not for peeking behind. Is the president safe? Were you not watching? Yes, the president has departed safely. Good. His death could have had a major impact on morale. This whole affair was ill-advised from the start, and I, for one, am glad it's over. Dismissed. We're almost to the end, aren't we? I mean, to the Battle at the Dam? Are you worried at all about dying? I'm not too worried about it. I've got the power of time travel on my side. <sighs> I'm glad you're feeling confident about our chances. And you must feel committed to your cause to be risking your life. I just believe so much in the NCR. They're such a righteous force in the Wasteland. You know, I was never excited about getting involved in this war. But after everything we've seen, driving the Legion out of the Mojave is the right thing to do. If I die doing it, it would be for something worthwhile. I wouldn't be too concerned about things, Willow. I have a feeling the Legion aren't going to attack anytime soon. Call it a hunch. Guess there's no turning back now. It's war. If Hoover dams where it's going to go down, better make it count. The Legion could attack tomorrow. They could attack right now. Or they could attack four years from now. 
I guess we have no way of knowing. And so, my fellow Americans, I thank you for giving me five microphones. I only needed the one, but I wanted the five. And I know it means that more microphones for me means that there's fewer microphones for you. But as a politician, I really don't give a shit about you. Thank you for electing me. You're all goddamn idiots. What the hell is this? Excuse me. Welcome back, Mr. Terrorist. Is there a problem here? Yeah, you're a terrorist. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oh, so you're not the person who planted a bomb on the president's vertebrate? Die, profligate! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Lay into him! Alright, that's the last mm. loose end, I think. Good job, team. I saved the president from being assassinated. Top that! I grew all of the different types of fruit in my village. And I completed a Tyrannosaurus skeleton. Oh, damn, that is impressive. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's almost as impressive as maintaining the regional power balance, which is what I did. By strengthening both Mr. House and the NCR, hopefully they'll be locked in a stalemate once the war against Caesar is over. As long as nothing tips the delicate power balance, we should have peace in the near future. Do as I say and your rewards will be immense. Thwart me, and your punishment will become the purpose of my existence. Warning. Failures detected. Do not feel more. An order will be restored shortly. Do you have the slightest idea of what you've done? Single-handedly you brought mankind's best hopes of forward progress crashing down. No punishment would be too severe. You low-down snake! Hog-killing time! You've come back to kill me this time. May there be... A hell for you, a Tartarus, bleak, unending. Give the speech already. Whoa, whoa, Watch out. Help. Give the goddamn speech, you asshole. Whoa, whoa, careful. Don't worry, I don't have any ammo for it. I ran out of ammo a while ago.